Today we're doing a bench test for a copy of a Krell Class A amplifier. This was a legendary amplifier back in the 90s and stopped being produced in 2007. The specifications for the copy suggest that it has more power than the original 100 watts. The power rating at the specified noise levels is not given. Moving on to the build quality, overall it's quite well assembled with fairly large heat sinks and transistors mounted on large heat spreaders. The listing says it has dual 400 watt transformers and I measured the output of these at plus and minus 38 volts AC. I could only find a couple of spots of leftover flux residue on the circuit board. In the as received condition, it consumed about 118 watts at idle. The measured bias voltage across the test points was 35 millivolts, which I calculate to be about 159 milliamps. Moving on to the noise tests, overall it has very low noise and below the specified value. Dominant noise is second order followed by third order. The power reached 106 watts at 1% total harmonic distortion. Noticing that the transistors were not very hot, I tried to increase the bias while monitoring their temperature with a thermocouple. After increasing the bias to 52 milliamps, their temperature settled to about 62 Celsius after about one hour. However, this produced much more distortion, and it may be because the transformers were lacking in power and current at this higher bias. Note the original amplifier claims to have a transformer with 1,400 watts capacity. And so the bias was decreased back to 40 millivolts and thermal observations, with a camera showed everything was within reasonable range. Interestingly, the highest temperatures were actually located on some of the regulator transistors. The lower bias brought the maximum output power to within a comparable range of the original design at 1% distortion. Further testing was again continued with this new bias setting at a 4 ohm load. In this case, there is mainly third order harmonic distortion. The peak power that could be achieved with one channel driven was 184 watts, which is below the 227 watts of the original. Again, this may be an indication the design is limited by the current of the transformers. One of the interesting observations was that the bandwidth at the upper frequencies appears to be much higher than the original and reaches 550 kilohertz at minus 3 decibels. This also seems to be making the square wave sharper with what seems to be a faster rise and fall time compared to the original. Finally, the low frequency noise distribution is pretty similar to the original with slightly higher noise at the main third harmonic. It is likely not operating in class A considering that the peak power at 8 ohms was reaching about 58% efficiency and about 64% efficiency at peak power into 4 ohms. We would have to expect if it was purely running in class A, the power consumption would be close to almost double what I measured at the peak power levels, and that would explain why they had a 1400 watt transformer in the original. Thanks for watching.